Hi, Tim Jones reporting for BimmerFest.com today on BMW's new 1.5 liter twin power three cylinder engine. For today, the three cylinder engine is packed in this F20 1 Series 5 door from Europe, but because we're only looking at the engine and this is just a prototype, we can ignore the car. Now the car underneath the hood, you can see it has a very small presence at only 1.5 liters and a single turbo. It really doesn't take up too much space. Now this car will probably wind its way up, but this engine may work its way into the 3 Series eventually, but we're not really sure. We also may see it in the new 1 Series and 2 Series when those make their way stateside. For today, we're mostly going to give you a little bit of a driving review of how it feels and also what it sounds like. I'm going to give it a start up now so you can hear it. And this kind of driving where we're doing right now is kind of around town, I would say, so that yes. we're getting really good sense of stopping and starting, a lot of low speed acceleration. Yes. This would be easy to, you know, but this is kind of merge into traffic type speed. Yeah. But with this car, we we did it, as I said before, <clears throat> we did it in a sporty way. You can do it also in a more comfortable way. So it's uh, more quiet. But we want to show the, the positive aspects of the three-cylinder in, in sound responsiveness of the engine, especially in the higher loads. This is an amazing amount of power from a three-cylinder. Yes. It's got a it's a really sharp response too. Yes. So that was our goal to do with the car. Very direct. And it's also positive. Um, you can hear when you when you are on, uh, driving a dip-in, when you accelerate, the, the engine is, is getting louder. Yes. You you hear what the engine and the car is doing, and when you have a dip out, it's getting quiet. So you you have a uh, a link <coughs> between the the power output of the engine and the the sound. And this is always positive for the driver. Good driver feedback. Yes. The tip-in is really crisp and, and there's no lag whatsoever. And the shifts are crisp. This is a fun transmission as well. And it yeah, seems like that it responds very well to this engine. 